Okay, we're gonna put this pretty collar on you, okay? It's actually gonna blend in. Let's take this collar off. Oh, this collar is gonna be good because it means you can go out front with your mama and not get run over by cars. Yeah. Let me take where is it at. Where in the world is it at? Okay. Oh, there it is. Mom's gonna tighten it up a little bit. There we go. Looking good. Okay. Hold on. Sit. Thank you. Okay, good boy. Come on. Good job. Wait. Okay. Come on. Let's go say hi to the guys. Hey, bud. I got you again. Me, Tonka. You ready to go in? All right, round two. I tell you what, why don't you guys, if you want to, or you can stay, stay back. Behind one. the flags? Yeah, behind the flags. Okay. That's a good idea. Don't call them or anything. Okay. Don't call them, just shake the flag if you want. There you go. Come on back. Good boy. Now shake that flag, buddy. Good boy, Tonka. Okay. Shake. Oh, bad flag. That's a bad flag, Tonka. Oh, bad. Okay. I'm not doing it. Why don't we go, I'll hold them back here. You guys go okay. in the middle of the driveway there. You have to whip it around real okay. quick. Okay. So oh, gotcha. Okay. You don't even have to say bad. Just give it a whip. Oh, okay. Real good. That way he's like putting two and two together. Got ya. Good boy, Tonka. Good job. Good job. Good job. next fight, buddy. This one? Yeah, that one right this there. This one? Yeah. Watch, Tonka, watch, watch. Now you can go, call Tonka, come on. Attention. Don't call him in, just get his attention. Oh, okay. It's okay, baby. That's a bad flag, Tonka. He's got it already. Good boy. Good boy. Go ahead and move around the corner. That was go awesome! Around. Yeah, you started to take it there. Yeah, he started to take that one though. Yeah, he didn't move out of it. Go ahead and move a little bit further. Come on, Tonka. He tangled up, bud. You gonna go? Tonka, you gonna go? Tonka, are you coming? What a good oh, boy. Good, boy. Here, good job. Woohoo, good boy. Up there? Yeah, let's go up there. Good boy. Here we go. Oh, what a good boy. Okay, you can come here. Come right here. Right here. Right here. That's good. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Come here, That's Come here. awesome. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. He's got the idea already. That, see, that's how he said. He learned so fast. Good boy. Good job. Good job. Good job, buddy. Talk to no. Oh, you gotta come back. Yeah, this I, spot seems to. I would to... say, well, there's actually a little more signal field right here. Mm hmm. Um, I think he's just coming because you're there. Yeah. But I would give him a couple days on this level mm -hmm. and then bump it up. Okay. How many up? We're on three. There's up to five. Up to seven. Well, the, yeah. Up to six, right? Six goes progressive. Six and seven are progressive steps. Right. We want. I think we want to stay with the, just the what we want to get him with. So I would say if we're on three... 
Go to four. Okay. That leaves you one more step up. Okay. Okay. Hey, go this way. Donka. Hey, right. but no, no. And how long should I leave the flag step? Flag step for about two weeks. Two weeks, okay. After two weeks, you take down every other flag. Okay. Every other day. Every so other they, flag, every other day. They, okay. So they, they gradually disappear. Um, and that way he'll begin associating the tone with, with the founder it, instead of the, the flag. Visual. Okay, so. got ya. So let me give a, li a little spiel too, okay. as far as how this works. So the psychology Do you want to take him inside? It's yeah. hot out here. You just let him loose yeah, you can just take his leash off and let him go. You can take that collar off of him too. Okay. So humans have peripheral vision, so mm -hmm. we can see what's on our right. Dogs have tunnel vision, they're not, they naturally target things in nature. Mm -hmm. So by keeping him on a leash for, say, like a week, uh -huh. you're creating the illusion that the shot. shot That's funny, because I was thinking more like a month, so, so okay. Uh, probably, probably a week is okay. conservative. Probably three or four days, you'll be good to go. So you're creating the illusion that the shock starts here and goes off into infinity. Mm -hmm. Now, if you let him off the leash prematurely, What's going to happen? He's going to get shocked. His natural and reaction keep, goes to run forward. Uh -huh, and That's why backwards. the leash is so important. Okay. So why don't you do this? After three or four days, if you're feeling confident and you think he's really going to stay in the border, test him. Go like this. Have your husband just shake these all around the property. Okay. Whip him. Mm -hmm. Make a sound with him like that, so he really understands what the flag is. Then after a couple of days, test him. While you have him under control with a, like another dog which is another his dog, that's his crazy some roast beef across throw a ball across yeah, anything the, to yeah. test him okay now if he goes through it not a big deal put him back on the leash for a couple days bump the level up another level just keep going up as you need to especially with that dense fur if he didn't have thick fur he could be at a level one right he'd be fine but right. thick fur insulates the stimulation mm -hmm. so do that uh, leave the flags up for two weeks. Every other flag, pull them out. They're okay. a visual boundary form. You don't want to leave them up too long because that creates a dependency on the flags. Right, okay. And then just test them, test them, throw a ball up until you're 100% confident that you can let them out here. Throw roast beef across, another dog. Yeah, the other dog is what will be his. The longer you keep them on the leash, the better. I would say okay. seven days at max. Okay. If you want to go the full seven days, that's Yeah, I probably that's will. Awesome. Just because I'm the kind of person that yeah. will double leash him in case one yeah. breaks. Yeah. <laughs> and so what you do is have your husband come out and play with him, or you play with him. Have mm -hmm. your husband on the leash, right? So be like, yeah, good boy. And, and then run across there, try to get him to follow you. Like if he stops dead, mm -hmm. that's great. Throw a ball across. Tell him good boy. Then, yeah, good boy. Do a victory lap after every training session. Okay. Ten minute sessions. No more than that. Ten minutes. How, how many times a day? Twice a day. Twice a day. Yeah. Okay. So do a victory lap after training. What I like to do is just like run like this. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Give him some roast beef. Just run him around the safe zone. Instead of leaving him stuck. So that way he's like, Keep okay, him moving I'm forward, safe. not I'm stuck. Safe okay. In the yard, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So if he's safe in the yard and you're having some fun, you want to make some fun, no more than 10, 15 minutes a session is okay. too much and it makes it not fun. Mm -hmm. So roast beef, high protein treats that excite him, little tiny beets just to stimulate his taste buds, get him salivating, excited. Yeah, um, that's his roast beef. <laughs> nice little victory lap. And, okay. You know, whip the flags good. Don't say anything. Don't use negative okay. commands. Just okay. we want no him words, putting just whipping two and two flag. together. Okay. Like, if your husband can have him on a leash and you're over here just going like this. Mm-hmm. Straight down the line. Okay. It's, it's really psychologically conditioning him. The more you do that, the stronger the field's going to be. And the greater the illusion that the shock starts here and goes off into infinity. Okay. So, seven days on a leash and you should be good to go. Okay. And after that... If you have any problems, call us up. We can always make the collar stronger. Okay. We can um, get you a stronger collar if needed, but I don't think you'll need it. He's okay. smart. Yeah. Dogs don't like shock. Yeah. So. And he, it, that's why he said if he learns to do it the first time, then he's like, okay, what is going on? He's probably not going to get shocked again. Yeah, I don't think he's he will probably going to. Yeah. He probably knows to retreat now. We kind of taught him in the training to back up. So dogs tunnel vision, natural reaction, shock is to run that way. Leash, pull him back, teaching him to retreat away from the fly.
Okay, and do you say anything when you pull him back? I just praise him when he comes back. Praise, praise him when he comes him. back, okay. Get a little tiny piece of roast beef if you want. Okay. Some treats, anything to make it fun. Victory lap after every training session. Okay. Yeah, take him out Let him know he can move all around in yeah, the middle exactly. of the yard without yeah, being, lot. okay, yeah. In the, sh in the shade especially, let him yeah. know he's got some shade. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll probably do our sessions earlier or later. It won't be in the middle of the day for sure. Down to inches, but yeah. Yeah. First, he's probably going to stay 10 feet back. And then after a couple of weeks, he's going to get a little more confident. But keep testing him. Throw a ball across the line. Don't forget Actually, about pressure you, necrosis. When you, yeah, when you throw the ball, since you got two lines, have it drop somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's the second? The, okay, the second line is right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if, it, if the ball or whatever can stop just beyond the flags, you know it's in the signal field. He's got to get into the signal field to get it. If he goes and takes it, then we know let's let's turn it up a level. Okay. Or snug it up a little or bit. Or snug it up, yeah. Okay. Snug it up, tighten it up a little bit. Hold the fur back if you need to. Put a little Vaseline under the neck to kind of thin out the, okay. the fur. But skin contact is going to be your most important yeah. thing. Yes. And yes. just remember to keep those metal prongs nice and clean. Nice and Alcohol. clean. You alcohol know, okay test the collar once a week walk it out it beeps fine you're good to go okay. call us up if you need batteries or anything we'll okay take, we'll take good care of you so okay i appreciate it Absolutely. so it's much been a pleasure i appreciate you too jeff Rowe. no problem <laughs> jeff Rowe. no jeff Rowe. jeff jeff Rowe. jeff Rowe. from yes. the beverly hillbillies so. mm -hmm. jeff <laughs> jeff Rowe. from from bonnie's house <laughs> <laughs> There's Jeff Rowe. Rowe with the strong <laughs> fingers. Yeah. Billy Bob. And the soup boy. We gotta give him a nickname too. You're gonna be Billy Bob. I like I prefer Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I like Billy Bob. Bob's I like Billy Bob too. Man. I'm sticking with Billy Bob. But you can you like Wild get, Bill. You never get to pick your nickname. So. No, you don't. Yeah. This is true. It's gotta you know, yes. go with the personality. Mm -hmm. So it could be very worse. true. I'm yeah. usually called Bunny. Bunny? Bunny. Bunny? Bunny. Okay. Because I'm all over the place. <laughs> ADD. It's a good oh, thing. Oh, yeah. But don't, you've left us a few Ds off of there. <laughs> That's okay. Makes the world go around. This is true. Hi, baby. Look at him. He doesn't look stressed at all. His ears are Yeah, perfect. he's not stressed at all. His tail's not mm -hmm. between his legs. So that was the perfect He didn't cry session. at all. I love that because no, he, he didn't have, he really didn't have any reaction. He jumped that one time. 